What's up guys? Tim here. I am, well, I guess an echo going on here. All right, I'm converting this spare room to like an office. I went in and did the paint not too long ago. The floor is terrible, so I got a rug, but I think I'm gonna need a bigger rug. Yeah. Lenny. Yeah, Lenny's over it. Yeah, apparently somebody started to like try to refinish these wood floors and didn't make much progress. You can see where the sanding marks are. I wanted to make this office studio space anyway, so I'll end up putting some more rugs and things. I actually had some of the sound deadening panels coming in that uh, they were supposed to be here yesterday, and now Amazon's saying there was a delay. I had a new microphone coming, I had the sound panels. I got my audio interface, it came in, but like I can't use it because I don't have the mic or anything. So. I've been watching a bunch of different YouTube videos on like lighting and things like that, because one thing that's been upsetting me besides the fact of my slow computer which was why I bought a new one was trying to get my lights right and really all I have is like my LED panel light and in here at least I've got some windows like I've got some I got some big windows in here and then I've got the uh, I got one of these ring lights it's the GVM ring light which is great if you're shooting through it but like if you're trying to do lighting effects and like sitting and talking I don't know it's just weird but I wanted to get some new lighting equipment and that way I can set this up and do like some of my YouTube video stuff in here and uh, when I do my music recordings I think it'd be cool to have an actual dedicated space for it and since this room wasn't being used for anything I figured it would be a good room for it it's only like 12 by 12 so it's not a real big room but I think it'll be okay enough with the backstory uh, I'm gonna unbox these things that I bought and I'll go over the items as I unbox them okay so the uh, the air conditioner is probably kind of loud but it's really hot up here so we're running the AC so so the uh, the first thing I believe this is some LED lights that I ordered let's check this out okay so LED panel and another LED panel then it came with these uh, the color gels I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks for two panels with tripods so you're gonna need a USB block because they didn't come with the charger. All right, so we got our two tripods, got our two lights. We just need to plug these into something, so let's see what I got. Four and a half foot tall little tripod for the LED light. Kinda was hoping it'd be a little taller, but that's okay. Looks bigger on mine. That's what she said. I think it did advertise these as like tabletop LEDs or something, but I got them because they were cheap and I just want something to do like some backlighting back here, like just to kind of get a different color glow. And I broke it. I broke it already. I mean, it's flimsy, but I mean, they were like $15 each, so a little switch. All right, so there's power on. Oh, okay. Power off, power on. Okay, so you can make it a little warmer. Cooler in between. Nice. And oh, it does have where it's dimmable. All right, look, you got a little, uh, little gel insert. Aren't those cute? Okay. I wasn't paying attention because I was hurrying, but it's got a little gimbal to go on top so you can adjust the angle of them. Okay, so that's cool. Once I get everything unboxed, we'll, uh, yeah, I'll put these on there. Trying to hold a camera and do all this at the same time. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the uh, the big light. I finally got a light with like the soft box and everything. I don't even know if we can get this all in frame. <laughs> all right, let's open this thing up and see what we got. All right, so this is a, uh, it's like a cob light, which is circuit, circuit on board, I believe is what that stands for. But it came with the stand and everything. I'm gonna put the link and the price here. I think it was like 200 bucks for the kit. Okay. Cool, so that is the tripod. Oh, it came with a, uh, what was this called? I think it was called like a lantern style softbox. Power supply. Power cord. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel professional already. Lenny, we're gonna be doing stuff. Look. One reason I went for the one that was a little more expensive was because this one apparently you can change colors, like with your phone. I've never used one of these. I'm hoping it'll make my videos look cool. 
Um, oh yeah, I ordered a different softbox. So the one it came with is a lantern softbox, which kind of emits soft light in all directions, but then I got more of a directional one too, let me show you. So this, see? Oh yeah, I got this. So apparently if you don't want to use a softbox and like if I just want to use it to light up stuff, like maybe if I'm doing some music video type stuff outside and I want more directional light, I got this. So look, it's got the little honeycomb thing, which apparently keeps the light from, you know, spreading all directions. It keeps it more focused, which is cool. This goes over the cob light. I like that. Look at it. All right. So it, uh, it almost looks like an XLR input, but it's, uh, but it's for the power. Oh. oh, you can tell it's got a little fan in it running. Like it doesn't make much noise, but it's got a little fan. It's cool. All right, so there we go. All right, that obviously makes it brighter and dimmer. What did this do? Oh, color temperature. Okay, okay. Okay, so look at that. Oh, that's nice. And then mode, let's see. Okay, I don't know what any of this stuff does. Push, you can push this button in. I don't know what that does. This one doesn't push in. App. I guess I have to download the app to change the colors. I'm just pushing button. Rotate. What does rotate do? Okay, so I got the app installed and freaked out for a second because I only saw adjustments for the uh, brightness and hue. But if you click HSI, it actually pulls up the color. So then we can select what we want and adjust the brightness, saturation of the color, which apparently if you desaturate it, no matter where you put it on here, it's like pink, It's just weird. But uh, yeah, we increase this, there we go, increase that. Yeah, let's put the softbox on real quick. Let's see how this all works. Uh, this is the one that's more like a umbrella looking thing. This one is made by and bit full. I'll tell you what, I'm really starting to understand why people have dedicated spaces because, oh my gosh, once I get all my cameras set up and my lights done, this is going to be so much better. And I'm, I'm looking up at the monitor. Sorry, I'm trying to see what we got. Okay. So for reference, I'm like right at, whoa. Oh. For reference, I'm like 5'11". So it's like a six foot tall stand. I like that. Never done one of these before, so we're going to figure out how this works. And I promise next time I'll use my new mics, but I'm just trying to get it done. It's like seven o'clock. I've had a long day. Okay, so we got this big thing. The power supply is kind of heavy and it's going to be hanging on this. It screws in here. I'm going to use some Velcro and we'll attach that to the stand somewhere. I do not like having cords pulling on things. I really don't know what I'm doing. Ah, yes, it slides under these two. Okay, so I put all these little things and these little things and then click them. And then we have this that I'm going to put. The little white thing just velcros in around the edges, so. All right, so overall I'm pretty pleased with the way the softbox is coming along. But it didn't come with the little honeycomb thing like I wanted, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll message them and get that. Anywho, one thing I wanted to point out that I thought was pretty cool with it was when I put the little parabolic dish together. Um, okay, you've got your outer soft cover, but it also has an inner one. This will help initially diffuse the light. You got the other one to go on top, so it's like, it diffuse it really well. Let's see what it looks like real quick. Okay, I got it all put together. I'll tell you one thing, shout out to the guys who do these unboxing channels and put this stuff together, because I'm tired. <laughs> it's a, a pain in the butt. Okay, I got it kind of in place, I think. I got it at like a 45 degree angle from here. Let's try with these others and I'll turn off the overhead. Let's see what it looks like. All right, so overall, I'm actually pretty pleased with how this is looking, at least on my viewfinder, the soft box light and everything. I'll do some fine tuning on it. I'll get the office cleaned up and everything and then film another video, but so far so good. If you want to see future progress, tune in next time and hopefully I won't bore you with unboxings and setups unless you like it. All right, guys, I'll see y'all next time. We're gonna, we're gonna go get some food now. Right. Lenny's hungry, I'm good.